Hello, my friends. How is everybody? Okay, so I got a question uh, from somebody in one of the comments of one of my videos. And by the way, there was someone named Frank. I accidentally deleted your, your question and your comment. I'm so sorry. I think that was your name, Frank. I feel bad. Uh, sometimes, you know, my hand gets a little happy with my mouse and I just click the wrong thing and it's not something that you can undo on YouTube Studio. So I just want to put that out there in case if I never respond to somebody, maybe something happened. Um, sorry about that. So, okay, I got this question uh, from somebody and it was, what do you do about constipation? I believe was the question. It's pretty simple. What do you do for constipation? That's the worst part of Parkinson's. And so the reason I titled this video, you haven't talked about Parkinson's or you haven't had a real conversation about Parkinson's until you've talked about constipation, bowel movements, getting yourself, you know, getting that, that part of your body moving. It's because I heard it from a friend of mine. And I, I just, I loved it because it is challenging and it's not something that's, you know, fun to talk about. And it is so important. I mean, it is so, so important. And I mean, I've had like visions of like Elvis keeled over and you know, I've been in agony um, <clears throat> before on the toilet and then I'm like, okay, I need to get this part of my health care routine like down because it's that important. It, it hurts, it's painful. And then also too, like you want your digestive system just moving and it also can interfere if you're backed up. It will interfere with how effective your medicine works, your quality of life, you're gonna feel bloated. It's just, it's not good. So we wanna keep things moving. Okay, so I, I don't, I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything like that, but this is, this is all I essentially use. Aside from, you know, getting exercise, staying hydrated. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm not affiliated with this company at all, but it's Spectrum organics or spectrum essentials. Let me see if I can get this. There we go. Cold, cold milled organic ground premium flaxseed. Omega-3 and lignans. Lignans 98 milligrams per serving. Great nutty taste. That is what sold me for sure. Like I'm a nut for anything nutty. Great nutty taste. Three grams of dietary fiber per serving. Rich in omega-3 ALA fatty acids. And I've got friends who do a variety of different things. Um, I, I've got w women that I know who take magnesium. There's different forms of magnesium. Um, <clears throat> like I think one of them helps you sleep. One of them helps, you know, um, with constipation and it, it acts as like a diuretic. Um, I know people who take uh, psyllium husk and it's not like I'm an expert by any means, but I just sprinkle this on my cold cereal. I am, this is my weakness right here. <laughs> I'm not affiliated with them either, but oh my God, I'm such a softie for life cereal. It's terrible, but um, it's one of my soft spots. But I sprinkle that on um, this on, on my cereal. I do it on the oatmeal. I do it in smoothies. It's just, it, it tastes really good and it's super easy to consume and it totally helps me stay normal. And you know, the research that I've done with psyllium husk, I have a problem with dehydration as it is. And so, from what I've read about psyllium husk, it, uh, it can draw water from your body, I guess, as it works. So you need to make sure that you're consuming enough water to kind of counter that. Something along those lines. But yeah, I just wanted to answer that question and share my secret. I love their products. And, and like I said, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but like this is another one of theirs. Um, yeah, Spectrum Culinary Essentials Keto Friendly Organic Coconut Oil. I get really bad knots in my hair when I let the curls down. Um, and sometimes I've actually had to put coconut oil in my hair to get the knots out. It's a good secret for anyone with curly hair out there or kids with really crazy hair. Um, but that's also good. Like, I mean, I've taken little spoonfuls of it. I've put it in my oatmeal. It's another thing that's good for the skin. It's also good for the insides. I know that uh, like part of the Mediterranean when I was in Greece, I met people who had olive orchards. And as you may have seen on Instagram, my Instagram page, every year we do an olive harvest and, and make a, like a olive oil that's so good for you. And so, but I met people in Greece who like, will just do little shots of olive oil. So that's another consideration. 
if you're looking for like a nice kind of natural way to to relieve constipation, that's that's what I do, and it's it's certainly worth a try. There's you know nothing harmful about it. It's regulated. I mean that's kind of my that's kind of my thing with supplements is you really just don't know what you're getting. Like even with the high quality stuff, I mean yes, um, that's definitely better because you know a lot of them will have certain standards that they're um, reaching. But yeah, so this is it. If you guys have any questions, if you can't find this, I get this at. Um, a local grocery store but I've seen it at Whole Foods you can order it online um, yeah that's it hopefully everyone is doing fabulous and well I am I'm actually going to the grocery store now to do uh, some run some errands so yeah thanks for watching as always subscribe if you haven't uh, comment question say hello and I'll talk to you soon thanks <laughs>